Let me say something right quick. I think back on the African, Af African American people in America. I think how that they were taken against their wills, put in the belly of ships, brought over here, beat, cussed. Many of them died in the guts of those ships, thrown overboard. They were pulled from families over there. You ain't never heard a gut wrenching song you hear a black person sing. One of those old black Negro spirituals. Nobody knows. I can't sing it like that, see? Because I hadn't experienced what they be. When you've experienced hell, it comes out of the voice. I said, when you experience hell, it comes out of the voice. If you're one of those people that you got problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth. Because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying. You better shut your, you better shut your white mouth. Gonna shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you is raised in the deep south, and you was raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people. You better get that out of your system. You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here, and God is going to re reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Okay, as you heard in the video, right there, no more clear can I say it than that. Uh, this is just further proof that many of the Gentiles know exactly who we are. Uh, some of them pretend not to know. But people such as this, uh, John Kilpatrick and many others, um, we've even talked about Jesse Duplantis and countless others who knows that we are the children of the Most High Yah. Uh, they know that we've fallen into disobedience and um, we've angered our father and that's why we're in the place that we're in. But many of them also know the end of the story. They say, okay, yeah, he's punishing his people right now, but he's also pro um, promised other things to them as well, that he's going to deliver them out of these troubles. And that those who led into captivity shall what? Go into captivity. Um, in other words, there is a universal law of reaping what you sow. And so this is what uh, Kilpatrick is talking about. Of course, our concentration as the children of Yah should be on repenting. And I think too many uh, religious nuts, I'm going to call them that, uh, they put too much focus and concentration on um revenge and all of this other stuff, this hate and things of that nature. That's not where your focus should be. Your focus should be on turning the Most High's anger away from me. <laughs> That's what it should be on. So that means repentance. If you're focusing too much on that, you have no time to get yourself together, right? And so I would encourage my people to kind of turn your heart away from all of the, um, the anger and the bitterness and the hate and turn it towards repentance. Because while you're focusing on that, you're allowing yourself to go deeper and deeper into displeasing the Most High because you're not focusing on your own flesh, right? You're not focusing on the fact that it was our sins that separated us from Him in the first place. I know we want to look elsewhere and blame everybody else and say, well, we were brought into slavery because of this, that, and the other, but was not it prophesied? Wasn't it prophesied that this would take place? Did the Most High lie? No, he didn't. Why did it take place? It didn't happen because we were so good and so wonderful and that we were doing everything right. We were brought into captivity because of our sin, because our people were and are wicked. I know that these other nations are wicked too. No one denies that at all. But our concentration should be on fixing us, just like theirs. Just like, li listen to what John Kilpatrick said. He told them they better get themselves together. So let him tell them to get themselves together. We need to concentrate ourselves on repenting and turning Yah's wrath away from us collectively, right? We know that as individuals, we seek to please Yah, 
and we separate ourselves from foolishness and folly um, of any kind, whether it's from other people or our own people, right? Of course we do those things, but at the same time, don't be foolish in thinking that your concentration should be on what all these other races of people are doing while you are still toe up from the flow up. So anyway, family, it's time for us to repent. Uh, thank you all that are joining us in this fast, because it's not just about fasting, but it's also about repentance. It's also about healing and whatever else it is you need from the Most High God. Those of you who want to be elevated from one level to the next, it's about that. Whatever your desire is, make sure that it is in alignment with the Most High's word. Okay? Seek those things which are above. Delight yourself in Yahuwah, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Anyway, family, tell me what your thoughts are on what John Kilpatrick said in the comment section. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads.